For a nation that prides itself on its democracy, America hasn't made the act of voting particularly easy. We have 13,000 election jurisdictions in this country that run elections 13,000 different ways. Election officials get to do different things from one place to the next. Some voters vote on different kinds of ballots from others. And so we have different rules about who can register and who can't from state to state. And it's really not one America when it comes to voting. There are cracks in our democracy. In fact, the way that elections are run is dysfunctional. They are total dysfunction. Where's the pill for this affliction? I'm Moraka American. And as an American, I'm proud that I have the right to vote. Or do I? For answers, I consulted the Constitution. This is the wrong copy, I think. No, no, this is the copy. No, this is the Constitution. This is the Constitution. Yeah. A close reading of the Constitution didn't turn up anything about the right to vote. There is no right to vote in the Constitution. You're not kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. Um, the Constitution at the nation's birth made no mention of voting rights whatsoever. Did they just forget to? No, they didn't forget to. They, they were unsure, in fact, whether voting was a right or a privilege. And if it was a right, they weren't sure who the right actually belonged to. And in fact, if you look closely at the Constitution, the only office that they refer to as being elected is for the House of Representatives. This constitutional silence on the right to vote puts the U.S. in some interesting company, including Chechnya, Libya, and Iran. What we have is a kind of ragtag series of ad hoc constitutional amendments that say you can't discriminate on the basis of race. You can't discriminate on the basis of sex. But other than these kind of anti-discrimination amendments, we don't have the affirmative universal right to vote like you find in the South Africa Constitution, which just simply says everybody's got a right to vote. That's what it means to have a democracy. That's what we the people really means. Because of the drafters of the Constitution left control of voting to the states, we've ended up with a wildly decentralized voting system. So, for example, while in Vermont, people convicted of felonies can vote from the comfort of their prison cells, it's a very different story in Mississippi. A Canton man convicted of voter fraud is given the maximum sentence. Terrence Watts will serve 10 years in prison for voting illegally twice. After serving time for a felony, Watts, who was still on the registration rolls, broke the law by merely voting in two separate elections. He's scheduled for release in 2020. It's outrageous. Florida has about 900,000 people who, with felony convictions who cannot vote. We really need to be in a place where you've done your time, you just get your rights back. Would a constitutional right to vote help clear up this mess? Well, an amendment to do just that has been stalled in Congress since 2001. Maybe by the time Terrence Watts gets out of prison, every American will be guaranteed the right to vote. From sea to shining sea.